Hey guys, um, this look here that I am wearing today is a very simple and easy look. It's called Warm Sunrise. Um, I geared this look mainly for all of those single parents who are on the go who don't really have a lot of time and a budget to work with. This look that I've acquired is literally under $25 and you can get all these products at the simple drugstore, CVS, Rite Aid, or anywhere, any pharmacy that carries these items. Um, they're very easy to obtain. I'm gonna show you first what I've used and then I'll go on to showing you how to apply this look. On my eyes, the eyeshadow, I used um, one small quick palette that is numbered and also has little instructions on the back. It's called L'Oreal's. Wear Infinite Studio Secrets, color 106 Sunrise. Um, and for those of you who don't know how to use um, eyeshadow or apply, they have instructions in the back to make it a little easier. And also the colors that this comes in is a very light ivory shimmery white. It has a pink shimmery peach color. It has a light brown and a dark brown. Um, also it comes with a little applicator which I'm going to be using in the tutorial because I want it to be easy for all of you uh, single parents or kids that are going to college and just need a quick easy little look. So this little applicator comes with. Next, um, for my concealer I actually used Maybelline's Cover Stick. I love this product because it's like a lipstick so you can apply it directly on and just quickly blend it in. It's great for on the go as well. Um, my key is convenience and on the go, something that's easy and something that's inexpensive. This is about maybe six dollars at any pharmacy. Uh, the L'Oreal is about $5.99. Um, I use Bare Minerals and Bare Essentials Warmth um, Bronzer uh, for my blush instead of using a pink or any subtle look. I, I like the bronzy look. It's better in the sun especially today. It's a beautiful day. Um, that you can get for about $15 at any Bare Essential store or online, or you can you like. But the one I'm using is Jessie's Girl. It's not really any type of big name brand, um, but I like it because it goes on dark. As you can tell, I only use one application to get it on. And it has a little sharpener at the end, which makes it so easy because if you lose your sharpener, you don't have to go crazy if, if your actual point is dull. So it's only a dollar. Can't get better than that. Uh, last but not least, my mascara. I actually used two. I know it sounds awkward, but I couldn't, I can't find at any pharmacy or drugs or anything like that. I can't find a good mascara that does both separation and volume. Colossal is great. It's a Maybelline product. It's a great, great mascara for separating eyelashes. See, it's separate, no clumping. Now, I love volume and length, so I use CoverGirl's Lash Blast Volumizing Mascara in the W9, and this is the, the very black that you can get. I like to use both of them because it's just so, I don't know, it gives me exactly what I need. If you don't have time, I would suggest to go with the Lash Blast Volumizing Mascara from CoverGirl because it is the best one to get if you only need to get one and you're on a budget. It's about $8.99. So now that you know what I've used, I will go ahead and show you how to acquire this look. Stay tuned. I'm going to start off by applying a concealer on the areas in which I feel as though are a little darker and I would like to just even out to have an even complexion. You're going to put it on the areas in which you feel you need a little more coverage. Under the eye usually, on the lid. Then you're going to go in and you're going to blend. I like using my finger because, as I said, my mom on the go. I like something that's quick and convenient. I don't want to deal with 5,000 brushes unless I'm doing a look where it takes more time and perfect accuracy. This is something where it's quicker, easier, and it works just as good. The key here is convenience. As you can see, it does a good, pretty good job. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to start on the eyes. Um, as you can tell, one of my sides are already done for you, those of you who want to see the difference. It comes with this little applicator. And for those of you who don't have the budget to get tons of brushes, I'm going to use and acquire this look with just the applicator. Just so that you can see that this look can not only be achieved by people who have all, all these brushes and tons of brushes that you can actually achieve the look with, but also with just what you buy in the store. I'm going to start off with the number one color, which is the, the lighter color. I'm going to apply it on the brow bone shimmer. Then I'm going to go to the number two color, which is the pinkish color. And I'm going to apply a generous amount on the lid. Now I'm going to go to the warm brown color, which is the third color. I'm going to go into the crease and it nicely. A key to good makeup is really, especially eye makeup, it's really blending. As long as you blend it, don't make it look like it's just one line and you swiped it once or twice. You usually can get a really good look, whether you're using a good color palette or just a little cheap one. This is actually a pretty good priced uh, palette. It's only about $5.99 at any Rite Aid or any pharmacy drugstore. I'm going to keep on blending that color in there. And what I'm going to do is get the darker color out of the palette, which is the darkest one, number four. I'm going to put it into the crease and blend. Now you're going to go to the lightest color, which is the white one. You're going to go back to that one. It's like an ivory eggshell white color with a shimmer in it. You're going to go to your brow bone and apply directly under your eyebrow and blend at the line in which the dark color meets the light. The key is blending. Now you're going to go back to the warm brown color. You go over. You're going to go over that. Like to start on the end. You start off with a thin and light line. And you come in. Now you're going to do your waterline, just the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Colossal. You can see the brush. The bristles are very far apart so it does a really good job of separating. As you can see, I'm taking the actual wand, rotating it while I go up. See how it separates? Don't forget the bottom lashes.
Now I'm going to use CoverGirl's Lash Blast Volume. Also, you're going to rotate the wand as you push up. Don't forget the bottom lashes. Now a little trick I have for you girls who don't have an eyelash curler. I don't really want to use one today, so I don't really don't have the time to. But for those of you who don't have an eyelash curler, which is supposed to be done um, heated before you apply the mascara, you can take, go back to your little dollar eyeliner. Before it dries, push your lashes back. Push them back, it appears for them to be longer because you're pushing them back as they dry. After you're done with the mascara, so you can see they're nice and voluminous and they have a nice length to them. You can see it better this way. We're going to take a brush. Now this is you're gonna need a brush for. We're gonna apply uh, either a blush you can use or a bronzer or a contouring color to contour your face. Today I wanna use a, uh, a bronzer because the sun is out and I want my skin to look healthy and bronzy. Um, I like to use Bare Essentials bronzer. It's a very nice, you can tell I use this a lot. It's a very nice consistency because it has this nice bronze goddess color to it. As you can tell on this side, I've applied it already. And it really just defines you. All you need is a little bit, see? You're going to tap the brush in. You see where the cheekbone is? In circular motions, go all the way up to the hairline. You're gonna go up to the forehead. Go around to the hairline. Gonna go on the nose area. It's not the brush to use, but I like to add a little bit of shading. You see how my cheekbones are now a little more defined. Last but not least, we're going to be applying our lip gloss. See, my lips are very, very bland right now. And um, this is my favorite lip gloss in the whole wide world. You can't get me off. This is color 105. It's like a pink little tone. It's actually a Maybelline product um, from their extra sheen and gloss lipstick line. I love it because it's pretty. It's pink. <laughs> and it has these little little wand here. You see how it's oozing because it's hot in here. You can apply it. So this is it. This is my little quick and simple um, warm sunrise look and I think that it makes the face look nice and clean and it's just a good quick way to finish up your look. Thank you for watching and I hope to hear from all of you. If you have any ideas or any comments please post. Thank you for watching and have a great day.